Projects on international waters form one of the primary focal areas of GEF, helping countries deal with transboundary water concerns, from river and lake basins to groundwater systems through to coast and large marine ecosystems where most fisheries exist. Small Grants Program as a corporate program of GEF and which is implemented by UNDP has funded projects involving communities close to endangered water bodies or with transboundary threats to their ecosystems. The international water projects of the Small Grants Program generally involve the demonstration of small scale techniques that have the power to reduce water pollution in specific transboundary water bodies. One such example is the teaching of new farming methods to reduce pesticide. Awareness raising campaigns are also a key component of projects. These campaigns raise awareness amongst community members about the impacts of waste on a water body, which are often accompanied by community activities to actively clean up community waste and improve its management. Management of wastewater in El Karawi village, El Bahera government, Egypt. El Karawi is a village in El Bahera government. It has a population of around 5,000 people who live in around 500 houses. The village is deprived of any sanitation service and a large part of wastewater ends up in the fresh water canal of El Karawi. This canal feeds into the River Nile, causing potential damage to water quality. Further, women suffer the most from poor water management, as they are the ones who are responsible for the disposal of grey water. This responsibility has dire consequences on their health. El Sanat Association, one of the active NGOs in the local area, implemented a project to establish a wastewater treatment facility for the village. The main objectives of the project were to establish a treatment unit for municipal and grey water in the village, to provide a simple model of economic and safe disposal of wastewater that could easily be implemented in other similar Egyptian villages and to raise environmental awareness on the importance of protecting water from pollution. Were it not for the successful efforts made by the NGO to encourage the private sector and local community to contribute fiscal aid totaling $75,000 in concert with the SGP contribution of $19,000, the project would not have been realised. The project was implemented between May 2005 and March 2008. During this period, regular meetings were held addressing different parties of the community. These included meetings with farmers on the conservation of irrigation water, as well as other meetings with housewives, who play a significant role in the safe disposal of domestic water, illustrating the importance of using clean water instead of water streams to wash clothes and utensils. By the end of the project, all 500 houses in the village had been connected to a large internal water network of PVC pipes. A proportion of the water can be harvested by farmers for the purpose of irrigation of non-edible crops. There is no doubt that the project is a success story highlighting the progress that can be and will be made by coordinated efforts between NGOs, the community, Jeff SGP, local authorities and the private sector.